The Archimedean property, also known as the Archimedean law, or probably another name as well, taught in almost every intro real analysis class. Here it is, the property. If we have two elements, x and y in R, and here I'm just saying that x is positive at least, then there exists a little n in the natural numbers. Remember, this is just the integers starting at 1, and this is such that, st for such that, n times x is greater than y. This is the Archimedean property. There are other ways to state it, but this is one of them. And this makes a lot of sense. Take any two real numbers where one is positive, you can make the positive one bigger than the other one, no matter how large it is, just by multiplying by some natural number. Let's give a proof here, proof of this. Now something to note here, before I kind of get into the, the real proof of it, is this statement here. This, this is equivalent to saying that n is greater than y over x. I can divide by x because I'm, I'm saying x is not zero here. So in other words, another equivalent statement here is that there exists a natural number in n which is greater than a quotient of two real numbers. So take any quotient of two real numbers such that the bottom one isn't zero, you should be able to find a natural number which is bigger than that. Another way of saying that is that the natural numbers are not bounded above. So you, you can say they're unbounded. And so this is the key here, is that I want to show that the natural numbers are not bounded above. That would be an equivalent statement. So if I can prove that, I can prove this property. Well, one famous proof technique is by contradiction. So assume, and this is by way of contradiction here, I'm assuming that the natural numbers are bounded above. Let's assume they are, and we'll hopefully get a contradiction. Assume they're bounded above. Well, they're bounded above, and we know that the natural numbers are certainly non-empty. They're a non-empty set. And we also know the natural numbers are a subset of the real numbers. Why am I pointing this out? Remember the real numbers have that completeness property, the least upper bound property, such that any non-empty subset which is bounded above has a supremum, right? So here I'm assuming all of that. I know n is non-empty, I know n's a subset, and I'm assuming it's bounded above. That means that a supremum of the natural numbers exists. Let's just call it b, b for bound. So there's a supremum of n, and this exists. b is the least upper bound. It's an upper bound, and it's the smallest upper bound. Well, this means that if I took away 1, b minus 1 is definitely not an upper bound for m. Otherwise, it would be lower than the least upper bound. But if b minus 1 is not an upper bound, well then there has to be something in n, there has to be some element of n that's bigger than this. There exists an m in n such that m has to be larger than this. It has to be larger because I know b minus 1 is not an upper bound, so something has to be bigger than that. And so what I'll do with this inequality is I'll simply add 1 to both sides here. m plus 1 would be greater than b. And here's the contradiction. b is the supremum of n. It's the least upper bound. But m plus 1 is in n, isn't it? Isn't m plus 1 an element of n? Why is that? Well, m was a natural number. A natural number plus 1 is a natural number, so it's definitely in here. But I've created a number which exceeds the upper bound, and there's a contradiction. So we have this contradiction, meaning that the natural numbers are, in fact, unbounded. They are not bounded above, which is totally equivalent to what we wanted to say with this Archimedean property. 
Now click the link on the screen to watch the next video in the course.